The PowerShell version built into Windows 10 and Windows 11 is called Windows PowerShell. It is PowerShell version 5.1. However, the latest version of PowerShell, now known simply as PowerShell, and the most recent stable release is PowerShell 7. When you install PowerShell 7, it will not replace the old version of Windows PowerShell. Instead, both versions will coexist on the same computer. To install PowerShell 7, open a web browser and navigate to github.com slash PowerShell forward slash PowerShell. Scroll down to the Get PowerShell section on the website and download the 64-bit MSI installer. After the download is finished, run the installer and install PowerShell with default options. The two versions of PowerShell will be installed in different directories. Windows PowerShell is installed in the C Windows System 32 Windows PowerShell directory, while PowerShell 7 is installed in the C Program Files PowerShell directory. This means that you can run both versions of PowerShell at the same time. The older version uses the PowerShell.exe process, while PowerShell 7 uses the PWSH.exe process. This change in the process name allows PowerShell 7 to coexist alongside the older version without conflicts. It is important to note that PowerShell 7 does not have an integrated scripting environment like the older version. Instead, for scripting and development tasks, you will need to use Visual Studio Code, which works well with PowerShell 7 and offers powerful features. That brings the end of this video. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing to our channel for more useful content. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.